Hey everyone, in this video I will be creating and adjusting the levels for my Revit structural model. Up to this point I've already linked the architectural Revit file into my structural file and I've modified some visibility graphics to get to this current state. If you would like to see how I've gotten to this point I've provided links to the previous videos in the description below. The first thing I'm going to do is when I zoom extend the linked architectural model is on the upper right hand side and I have these graphics here on the lower uh, side of the screen. These graphics right here are my elevation markers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a window around these and select all of the tags and drag them up to where the linked architectural model is. It's a little bit better now when I, when I zoom. I'm going to go to the west elevation and this pulls up the elevation view and this is the linked architectural Revit model. I need to change the visibility graphics for this elevation to half tone and underlay. I'm not going to go into depth or give any explanation on the steps that I'm taking here because I've already covered that in a previous video. If you would like to see how that was done, go ahead and check out that previous video. So I'm going to go through this process pretty fast. And here I have this elevation view cleaned up. These are the levels that were created when I started this project with the structural template file that I used. I need to adjust the location of these levels because as you can see the linked architectural model and the levels are not in the same area. So I need to just drag these over. I have the same issue here when I zoom extends, it goes out pretty far. To fix that, I'm going to adjust the crop region. I'm going to select this hide crop region option down here on the lower left hand side. And I have this bounding box and I'm going to edit the crop. And when I do that, the crop region extends or the outline turns magenta and that gives me an opportunity to adjust it. And I'm going to adjust these edges in where it only surrounds the graphical area that I'm going to be working with. And I'm good with that and I'm turning off the crop region. Okay, so now to setting up my levels. There are a few levels in this view that I want to want to set up. One of them is the TOW5 here that the architect has and that's the top of a wall at the tower here. The other level here is the top of wall right here. Another level is the top of roof wall right here. I want to match the level one with their finished floor level. There is a mezzanine level here. You could see when zoom a little bit, you could see that the graphics show us there. There's a, a second floor here that the architect is calling a mezzanine. On this elevation view, that level isn't showing. I could adjust it to bring that level up. I'll show you how that's done. Before I get started, I want to go over levels. Um, there's a few ways of creating levels. The first way is by selecting a current level and copying. So you could copy the, an existing level, move it up to where you want it to be, and now you have a new level. So that's one. Another way is by going to the structural tab and selecting the level option. There's a few options here. There's a make a plan view and you can select your plan view types here and an offset. I typically uncheck make plan view. The downside with this is you can't snap to a specific level. It's, it's an arbitrary uh, location you got to start with. But if you prefer this method, you could just, you know, do that and then move your level to where you would like it to be. All right, so that's the second option. And the third option is going to the collaborate tab and selecting copy monitor. You select the link, you select the linked architectural Revit model, and then you have a different set of options here. And there's a copy option. 
you select that copy option and you select the level that you would like to copy from the linked Revit architectural model. And in this case, I'm selecting the top of wall, top of roof wall. And sometimes it takes a minute depending on how much data there is in the linked architectural model. Finish the process of copying that level. I'm still in the copy monitor command. So what I'm gonna do is click finish. Now the interesting part with copy monitor, it copies the element and there's this option that, that monitors the relationship between the structural model and the architectural model. So if the architect changes this level in the architectural model and provides an updated model and that level has changed, Revit will give you a coordination alert telling you that, hey, the relationship between these two levels, between the architectural level and the structural level are no longer matching. And so that gives you an opportunity to review the change and see if maybe it was a mistake on the architect's part or if the architect did change it and just neglected to, to let you know that there were some changes there. And let me show you how that works. So right now it's copied, they're at the same level, it's being monitored. If I were to change this to say 26 feet, and here is the coordination alert that it gives you. If you were to update the linked model and the architect changes, this is the type of alert that you would receive. So I'm just going to undo that. So I got this level that I wanted. I got this level here, and what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to monitor this level. I'm gonna select monitor. Since this level is already here, uh, Revit is asking me to select the element from the structural model that I want to monitor. I'm gonna select my level here, level three, and now I have to select what I want to link it to in the architectural model. So I want to link it to TOW5. To verify that this is linked, you'll see this little symbol that appears just right above the element that you've linked. It's like a little EKG heart monitor symbol. All right, so I know that that is linked together with that level. And I want to do it for this level as well, the top of wall here. I'm going to select my level, then I'm going to select the linked architectural level. And there's that little symbol right there. And I'm going to link my level one. So I'm gonna go back to copy monitor, select link, select the architectural Revit model, select the monitor option, select my level one, link it to finished floor. So I almost got all my levels set up. I need to adjust this level two here to match the second floor slash mezzanine level here. That's not really showing. So to bring that up, I'm going to go to view and adjust the visibility graphics. And for the linked file, I believe it's showing up on the east elevation of the architectural view. No, I was wrong. Let me try a section. There it is. So here is my level two. I want to bring it to the mezzanine level slash floor level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to align it to that point. Go to the modify tab, the align option, select the level in the architectural model. And then I'm going to select the level in the structural model. I'm going to monitor those two levels like I did with the previous level. So I'm going to go to view, visibility graphics, which is back to the west elevation as the background. I'm actually going to turn off the architectural levels. So there I have all the levels that I want. And I'm going to rename these. So once I rename these, I'm going to begin a coordination error. And the reason for that is because when I linked these two levels together, when I linked the structural level to the architectural level, it logged the current name state. Level one was the current name state when I linked it. And I believe in the architectural file, it's called fin floor. So when I rename this, Revit is gonna detect there was a change from the original state of when it was linked. You'll see that error right now. And this pop-up here is 
asking me if I would like to rename the corresponding views. I'm going to click no. And here's that coordination alert. So going back to that pop up, if I would like to rename the corresponding views, you can see here that there's this elevation marker is blue. These two right here are blue. And this one is not blue. It's, it's just black. What these blue markers indicate is that there's a plan view associated with these levels. So when I rename this level, Revit would like to know if I would like to rename the corresponding plan view. In my case, no, I like to keep my level name separate from my plan view names. Okay, so that's why I selected no. If you would like to keep those names associated with each other, you would click yes. So here it's going to give me the same pop up because there's a floor plan associated with this level. Another coordination alert. I'm going to leave that name the same. And this one I'm going to rename. Okay, and I'm going to end this video here. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you think this video might be helpful to someone, share the video. And if you'd like to follow along with this video series, subscribe to the channel.